What up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. And, um, this Quando Rondo interview, it just made him look bad. Like, bro, you, bro, like, you said so many lies in the interview. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't no detective or nothing. Uh, I don't want to sit up here and accriminate people and say who was doing what and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Because the police is all over this situation. But I will say this. Bro, this was probably the worst interview ever because... This interview really don't help Lil Timmy like no type of way. I understand how you trying to make it seem. I understand how you trying to make it sound. But this don't help Lil Tim in no type of way. So we finna get into all that, man. But before we do, go on here and drop that Buddha bomb. Because I know I'm coming with that heat. Right? Alright. Now. Nah. This is what I want to talk to y'all about and tell y'all about. Like, Quando Rondo doing this interview with Angela Yee. They doing it in parts. I seen part one. I seen part two. And um, I'm gonna just since it's out there, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go off of what he said. But I'm not finna be saying people names. And if you know, you know the internet know the streets know. I'm pretty sure. The investigators know too, but I'm not finna be saying this person, this person, that person. Oh, we don't do that over here. So I'm gonna be giving out no names, but I'm gonna speak on what he said and I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why this interview made him look bad. First of all, saying you saying that you didn't have beef with somebody, that you was in a well known beef with, and you know the situation. It's Cap. You even got a young boy, young boy chain on in the video, like in your interview, like you knew it was smoke. Now, not look, not look, Tim, none of your homies, nobody, none of them, none of that. But you yourself was arguing with a certain, uh, arguing with a certain person from they side, from Von them side. On Twitter, like I said, I don't want to be dropping no names. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, just go look it up. Just put Quando Rondo argue with blank on Twitter and look it up. And y'all will see it. And y'all will see exactly what I'm talking about. But you did that, bro. Like, you was not no ghost of the account, not no fake account, not no fan account. None of that wasn't going on. Like, you did that. You was arguing with him on Twitter yourself, bro. So when I see that, that make me feel like, bro, like, what are you talking about? What you mean you ain't know it was no beef? Like, what beef did you have with this person? None. But you knew what was going on, and you knew why that person was talking to you like that. And that person know why they was talking to you like that. So that's lie number one. Um... You didn't know that that was King Von until the next day. But there's plenty of videos from that night of your homie saying King Von name. But that story was out the same night. Like, see, it's just certain stuff you saying that's making you look bad. And I understand you recounting how you perceive it. But tell the truth, was you high? Say that. What, what, I don't know if he drink or not, but was you drunk? Say that. Because the stuff that you said make absolutely no sense at, at all whatsoever. You didn't know uh, bullets flying everywhere. You was yelling out. He shot because you seen you got shot. But at the same time, when you was yelling that, you weren't yelling it towards your guy way, bro. Like, you was yelling it toward Vaughn away so people assume that you were saying it about Vaughn. Either way it goes. It make it it make you look bad, bro. Like you shouldn't even be talking. Like you should just let it get played out of court, bro. It's in the situation you can't win. Like you trying to win the fans over. 
but the fans ain't trying to hit because they like Vaughn too much. So you can't win right there. Then you doing this videos with Lil Dirk lookalikes. You dissing in your virtual concert. Like this is what I'm saying. If I ain't really had smoke with this person, or if I ain't had smoke with nobody or whatever like that, I'm not even finna put this much attention into it, bro. Like, so this is what I'm saying to you, like, people don't know what I go through, exactly, don't nobody know what you're going through but you, but at the same time, we see you doing these videos, we see how you talking other times, one minute, it wasn't no pressure, wasn't no smoke, and you want to be cool with everybody, but then, the next minute, it's pressure, and it's smoke, and, and, you pulled the Gucci man when you did your little virtual concert. You know what I'm saying? You basically gave King Von the Pookie Low treatment. And you know you did that, bro. Like, so this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, don't hop because you, you know what I'm saying? Because you with Angela Yee, like, yeah, um, and I ain't gonna lie. It's just something about Angela Yee in this interview. She just look good. But anyway. That's the whole no, it's back to the topic, but she do look good sitting there. I don't know if it's the car, I don't know what it is, but she do look good sitting right there. But anyway, like I was saying about Quando Rondo though, like it's a lot of stuff that you said that like bro, even the internet, like what? Like he lying. Like it's capping then even people from your camp was was capping with like the with I won't say the main people, but like the underlings of the squad and like saying stuff to them. So you had to know that that would be like my whole crew beefing with somebody. It's a well-known beef. I'm around them all day, every day. I don't know nothing about it. Ain't nobody told me nothing about it. I don't have a clue. Like, so we know that, like, that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Then a part about you taking his chain, like we in the video you was grabbing his chain. So whether you was holding on for your life, or whether you was trying to use Ron as a shield, or whether you was trying to take it, bro, I don't know what was going through your mind. I'm not finna sit up here and say I knew what was going through your mind, but we know what we seen. Like that's the thing about it. We know what we saw. You trying to talk it out and like you trying to create the narrative, like bro, the video don't lie. We know what we seen in the video. We know what we seen on the video, bro. You said, man, I didn't know to the next day. I didn't know to the next day. You had to be super high, super drunk then. But even so with that, I don't believe that you were super high or that you were super drunk. But I believe right now, like, you either taking pills or, or it's like you doing something because... Your story keep flip-flopping. One minute, it was pressure. Y'all was ready for the pressure. Lil' Tim did what he had to do. Uh, You know what I'm saying? If anybody play with you, it's going to happen again. You was running around with guns after that. All at the gas station with guns. Like, come on, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. So, it's like, how can you quiet down the beef that really, when you, when you could have probably... Hit up Dirk after that. When you caught, probably could have hit up any one of them over there after that. Anybody from that side after that. You probably could have hit them up and explained your story. Bro, you was throwing gas on that fight. We all seen it. But even like I said up until now, you still doing videos. You still disinvolving in a virtual, you know what I'm saying, concert. Now, I don't know how old this interview is with, um... I don't know how old this interview is with Angela Yeah or whatever, but... What I do know is, you know what I'm saying, it's not, like, it just make you look bad, bro. It don't make you, it don't make you look like no type of nothing, bro. Like, it, it don't clear, like, it don't clear your name. It don't make Lil' Tim look good. It don't, like, it does nothing. I don't even know why you did it. Like, I wouldn't even, like, it's on your channel. I wouldn't even came out with it, like, for what? For, like, what's the point, bro? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand the point. Like, and you talking to her, like, knowing this is an open case. Knowing these people could use anything they want. You steady saying it wasn't no pressure, wasn't no pressure. If they look into it and look it up, bro, they gonna see all the pressure y'all had. All the pressure y'all had. And at the same time, it that would really mess up Lil' Tim. Because... 
we all know what Lil Tim was saying to that other side. If y'all don't know what I'm telling, that's another thing you can go look up. What was Lil Tim saying to the other side? Like I said, I'm, I don't want to get into all that because I don't want nobody putting my name or my name on my channel or anything and no type of court documents saying such and such said such and such about. No, 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 no. We're not doing it over here. But all I'm saying is, it's like, bro, the reason why that interview didn't make you look good is because people was able to pick through, pick and choose, look and see like they know for a fact that, you know, you was lying. Like you was lying. So, because it's like a known fact that you was lying, like it, it just make you look bad. And ain't nobody feeling sympathy for you, bro. You probably could have had it at the beginning of the situation, but you threw gasoline on you threw gasoline on the fire. What you think gonna happen when you throw gasoline on the fire? It's gonna spread, it's gonna get bigger, it's gonna get bigger, it's gonna get bigger. You know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna happen when you throw gasoline on the fire, bro. That's usually how that works. So this interview made you look terrible. My best advice to you, don't do no more interviews, bro. Just drop music. Drop music. Do your thing. Get your shows back on. Like, do that. Like, worry about yourself. Focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's it. But leave everything that got anything to do with finding them alone, bro. If you ain't going to do that, expect the situation to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. More fire you add to it, the worse and worse and worse it's going to get. And y'all already know, man. Get in the comment box. Let me know what y'all think about this Quano Rondo interview. If y'all seen it, man. It's your boy Wood, I'm out.